Every nation of the world has in one way or the other experienced criminal attacks from her citizens or non-citizens. Nigeria, located in West Africa, has also had its own fair share of criminal attacks where the likes of hoodlums, armed bandits, and deadly criminals have instilled great fear in the minds of its citizens. In this video, we will be taking a look at the 10 most notorious criminals in the history of Nigeria. Lawrence Nomayagbo Anini, aka The Law. For those who grew in the 80s, the name Lawrence Nomayagbo Anini can never be forgotten as one of Nigeria's most notorious arm robbers who reigned supreme in the old Bender state, now a Do and Delta state. In 1983, Anini and his gang members successfully robbed 12 banks in one day and killed 18 people in the process. Lawrence Anini and his squad of robbers made it a point of duty to rob banks in broad daylight. Their level of confidence was so high that they went about throwing money at market women in order to gain popularity. Anini was nabbed on the 3rd of December 1986 in Benin City. Anini was confined to a wheelchair throughout his trial period following the amputation of one of his legs and was sentenced to death by Justice James Omo Agege of the Benin High Court and was executed on March 29. 1987. Dr. Ishola Oyenusu. This is the man who smiles to his death. Naturally, Dr. Ishola Oyenusu should have taken the top spot on this list, going by the fact that he was the first non armed robber in the country. But Anini's exploit later outshined his. He took the nation by storm shortly after the civil war ended in 1970 and before he was executed in 1971 at the famous Babi show in front of 30,000 watching Nigerians. No one believed that the doctor would be captured as it was rumored that he was invisible. When Oyenosi reigned at the height of his exploits, he declared and I quote, the bullet has no power over me. Oyenosi got into active robbery back in 1959, but he committed his first major robbery when he snatched a car along Habat Macaulay Road in Yaba, Lagos, and killing its owner in the process, just because his girlfriend was broke and needed money to buy her makeup. By the end of the civil war, Oyenosi had metamorphosed into a cold-hearted robber who took delight in causing pains to his victims. The last robbery that ended his journey was in Ikeja, Lagos in March 1971. Dr. Ishola Oyunosu's execution was celebrated by relieved Nigerians who trooped out in mass to Babich in Lagos to witness the end of the man who had held the country to ransom. While being tied on the drum for execution, he kept smiling. In fact, he smiled to his death. Deriko Unwan Mama, a very popular Southeast armed bandit, Okudele Indiwe, popularly known as Deriko Unwan Mama, was given the title of King of the Underworld. Resident of Onicha, a commercial place in Anambra State, where the set of people who witnessed his onslaught the most. According to sources, Deriko had allegedly murdered over 100 people which included about 25 police officers. He was known to be a merciless armed robber who robbed buses with his gang members. Anambra State Police Command launched an operation to capture Deriko and his gang members. While some of his gang members were caught, the leader himself, Deriko, was still on the run. However, he did not run for a long time as the Bakasi boys, known to be the militant wing of the Anambra State Vigilante Service, set up to reduce crime in the Southeast, finally got hold of the deadly criminal in 2001. The Bakasi boys, who were known for their gory justice system, paraded the Rico Mwan Mama around Onicha and they finally beheaded him in an open square while declining requests from the Nigerian police to bring him into their custody. 
Shina Rambo. Those who had previously experienced the onslaught of Shina Rambo would never forget him. Shina Rambo, just like the other notorious criminals, was also an armed robber. According to various reports, he was capable of robbing an entire highway alongside his gang. Meanwhile, while some report has it that he died while in operation, others say he died as an ordinary man. He was well vested with charm, juju, and voodoo. He was known to be a demigod while he performed his operation on busy highways until the day he met his Waterloo. Bado of Ikorodu Bado of Ikorodu is placed fifth on the list of the top 10 most notorious criminals in Nigeria history. He dealt specially in Ikorodu axis of Lagos State while molesting children and women as well as robbing people. The Bado of Ikorodu terrorized Ikorodu for a very long time while escaping attempts by the police to convict him even after he was arrested multiple times. However, on one occasion where he got released by the police, the Ikorodu community reportedly became courageous and set the Bado of Ikorodu on fire. They decided to put a stop to the terror. Abiodu Ogujombi, popularly known as Godogo. Abiodu Ogujombi, also known as Godogo, was a deadly criminal who terrorized Lagos and the regions of Southwest. He was also known as the one-eyed assassin, who killed without mercy and did all sorts of atrocities. He was apprehended on the 1st of August 2013 after a series of attempts to apprehend him for over 14 years of his nuisance. According to reports, he was very good at disguising his criminal activities that his wife and his family members never knew that he was a criminal. Godogo was a gun lover as he goes for his operations with bags of 10 fully loaded AK-47 rifles. His houses in Lagos, Ondo, and Ogun states are also flooded with rifles of different kinds. Monde Osubo Monde Osubo was a very good accomplice of Lawrence and in his gang. In the gang, he was the one who performed the function of executing people. He had a short temper and wasted no time in killing people. Monde Osubo was killed alongside Lawrence Anini in 1987. Evans Chukudi Dumeme Onua Madike, popularly known as Evans, was a kidnapper and armed robber who came into limelight after being arrested in 2017. Evans hails from Umiwe in Anambra State. He is also referred to as the Bilonia Kidnapper because the Nigerian police force believes he is one of the richest kidnapped kingpins in the history of Nigeria. The Inspector General of Police Special Intelligence Response Team of the Nigerian Police Force described Evans as a very smart, crafty, and intelligent kidnapper who evaded arrest for four years despite being on the list of the most wanted criminals in three different states in Nigeria. Evans is currently undergoing trial on 52 charges of multiple murders, armed robbery, kidnapping, unlawful possession of firearms, unlawful possession of ammunition, conspiracy among others. Gracious West Gracious Davis West, popularly known as the Port Harcourt serial killer, reportedly had a tough childhood. He claimed that his mother was poisoned and that as the only son of his father, much was expected of him, but he could not deliver, so he decided to venture into crime. He was a member of DBAM, a fraternity group that is notorious in Nigeria for engaging in acts of violence and voodoo. His modus operandi was always the same. Every night, he scouts for girls at local clubs around the city of Portacord. He lures them to local motors in the suburb of the city. He sleeps with them and suffocates them to death. 
His victims were always found with piece of white cloth tied around their legs. Gracious before his arrest on the 19th of September 2019, while trying to flee from the city of Portaikot into Akwa Ibom State, confessed that he has killed over 15 women in a span of three months. He was charged for multiple homicide, manslaughter, and murder, and his case is still in court. The last on our list is Coyote Williams. Coyote Williams was a much known armed robber before he became a man of God and also the Director General of Prison Rehabilitation Mission International. Coyote Williams was a core member of Ishola Oyunusi Gang, who became known when his boss was caught. Coyote Williams was a deadly robber who allegedly murdered people without thinking twice. While he confessed, Coyote Williams explained how he pandered little babies and made use of them for spiritual fortifications. Coyote Williams was converted to Christianity while he was in jail for over 10 years. Thanks for watching this video and do have yourself a great day. Bye bye.